good morning guys and welcome to today today is terrible i have like the worst news ever to tell you guys the worst horsey news ever but before i do check out this has finally let us hold him oh on his, on his back. back so Gabby when he turned around and laid on Gabby's back for the longest time it was super cool anyway yeah it's true I have the worst news I'm gonna share it with you we're just getting ready to go to the barn um I'm gonna tell you guys when we get out in the car but yeah we're gonna need a lot of prayers you guys he just whispered he's like Nibble? 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 Oh, yay! you guys it's spring again. It's summer again. People are wearing shorts. I see them. Tank tops. It's summer again. It's really, really hot and really, really humid. And you guys know what that means. When the temperature changes drastically, two days ago, it was freezing cold. It was like close to winter weather. And then, boom, it's summer again. What does that mean, Gabby? Trail rides. It means it's the start of colic season. So colic season is here. Yesterday, the temperature changed so drastically. It went from uh, freezing cold to hot. Two horses that I know personally colic yesterday. Um, you. Polly. Oh, yeah. Our friend, the horse that our friend rides. You know, Shayla from our trailer, that little blonde hair girl that's been with, that has ridden at our barn with us a couple of times. Um, her, the horse she rides, colic. And who's the other horse that colic, Sophie? Lola. Yeah, Lola Colic, you guys. Lola, if you guys are just tuning in now. AKA Baby Mama. Baby Mama at our old barn. There was a pony there and she was bred this summer. We were all excited and looking forward to the birth of her foal in the spring. And she colic last night and it was a really rough night. They did a treatment and they treated her and they she spent the whole night walking her up and down trying to get her tummy to settle and as of this morning it was nothing was working um she had to make the really really hard decision to choose to let her go or to take her to hospital and see if they could help her um i don't know what the ramifications of this is on her baby i i just don't know um but so she did decide to take her to the hospital. They're gonna go for it and try and save Lola. So if you guys wanna pray for Lola and her foal, please pray for Lola and her foal. I'm waiting with my breath held to hear more news about what's happening with her, but I just pray as of this morning, it what she wasn't doing well. And um, you guys know that we had a problem with colic with our mare, with the very first mare, our least mare, when we first got her, like the first, like three weeks after we got her the temperature changed drastically it went from hot to cold and she colicked um so yeah i know how hard it is and i just really pray that lola and her foal are okay yesterday there was sun and there was rain As you guys can see there's little, there's very little grass in this field like from far away it looks like there's lots but it's so eaten down and then there are some little patches but it's mostly weeds and stuff that they don't eat so really it's kind of like she's just grazing a lot of rocks so holy cow um, it's kind of like she's just grazing and keeping her belly from thinking that it's empty. Hi, Harlow. Hi, Harlow. That's yes. cute. You're yes. so pretty. Hi. Did you know that you're, a lot of people love you, Harlow, because you're such a nice mare? My mom even wants you, Harlow. Yeah, you took care of our girl, and we'll always love you for that, Stella. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, you've been eating grass, I see. Oh, look, she's been bonding with me, you guys. And she doesn't look chubbier. Okay, come on, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go, princess. Come on. Bye, guys. See, like, you can see what they're eating. I don't know if you can see. 
Like they're barely getting anything down there. Are there any horses following me? No, nope. they're all going that way. I feel like Stella and I bonded yesterday, like for real. And I feel like expecting an eight-year-old to be able to bond with a horse the way a horse needs to be bonded is a stretch. I mean, even Gabby at eight, well, she's almost nine, probably not. Like it, it just, it requires so much more. I don't know, it's hard to explain. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. And now... This is my camera. It's a camera, Stella. Oh, she's falling more in love with you. Um, clearly our instructor can't be here to help us desensitize Stella and figure out her problems because she's dealing with a very serious, very real problem of her own. Stella is very stiff often before she gets working. Once she gets working, she will settle into it a little bit better and does a little bit better. But she is going to always um, have a little bit of a funny look to her when she's going um, until she until her hawk fuses. I'm gonna make a video about that right today so I can explain it all to all of you guys, especially for all the new people who come. And then there's always some place that you can go back and look and find out information. Um, anyway, so yeah, our instructor can't come till tomorrow and hopefully because, I mean, who knows what's gonna happen between now and tomorrow. Good girl. My plan today was to come and take pictures of my camera and um, take some nice fall pictures of the girls and the horses, but Sophie wants to ride. So we're just gonna do a really good controlled ride with me leading her around. And after desensitizing Stella for a while, make sure she's all good and then super safe, me leading her. And then we might go on a trail ride or go find some pretty trees. You guys saw all the leaves are changing in Canada, in Ontario, but in some parts of Canada, they already have snow in winter. So. Um, yeah, that was the plan for me. I'm proud of Sophie though. Wanting to get back up on her on her girl and ride. Right, Soph? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for now she's wearing an extra one of our extra helmets, but she'll be getting a new helmet next time we're at the tax store. She's exciting to pick it, right? And no. Look, there you go. She's not even scared anymore. The cars are going by and she can't see them. Yeah. No, she's okay. She handled that very well. Hey, keep going. She doesn't care if she's been like passed like five thousand times. Yeah, it's just if her ear keep her paying attention if her to you. If ears go forward, then that means that she's scared. Yeah. If her ears are back, then that means she's listening. To you. Yeah. You can tell when she's listening to something else, right? You guys should know Stella is not a spooky mare. Her old owners told us that she's not afraid of anything. She's never been a spooky mare. So uh, we got her three months ago. Whoa whoa a uh, storm looking fly and orange so she came to our barn three months ago and walked off the trailer and acted like she owned the whole barn so she was not afraid there so um with horses it's just like figuring everything out and and fixing it like with storm he was amazing when we got him but there are some tweaks that we had to do and we had to like spend time figuring out what the problem was i started stella on a supplement and maybe that's it i don't know so I might stop that supplement, see if that's the difference. Winter's gonna help too, because she won't be eating any grass. And to all of you guys who are telling us your stories, what's worked for you, what your problems have been with your horses, it's really helping. It means a lot because it means that I'm hearing so many more experiences, Mom, have more things to try. She doesn't like the stool. Yeah. Good girl, my Stella. Good girl. So I do think that the supplement is kind of working on her though that I've been giving her for her belly because she doesn't shy away as much when Sophie puts her feet up there. So if Sophie tries not to poke into her. It's hard. It's hard, yeah, with pokey shoes especially. Good girl. Good girl. There's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer on our skin told me about the tickle technique somebody told me and then somebody else reiterated it 
and that works. Like, wow. Um, before, when we had our other mare, we did half halt, half halt, half halt. Like we just did, actually we just did little squeezes whenever, whenever she looked like she was gonna spook. But that tickle idea is way better. Yeah, I know, Gabby's just working in with her horse, working with her horse. They're just bonding and getting more and more in tune with each other. Good girl. Good girl. So Sophie's working on just walking with her and making her pay attention to her. I just want to get as many nice, easy, soft, happy rides under our belt as possible to remind Stella that this is not a scary thing. This is not scary in here. I just want to get some happy, good rides under our belt. Like a lot of them. Right, they brought the bucker into the arena. So he's a horse of rescue. He's a project horse and his favorite thing to do is to buck on the lunge on the lunge line so uh we decided to bring Stella outside so she doesn't see any of that because <laughs> we do not need that and she really likes me to walk in front of her all right thumbs up this video you guys if you're proud of little miss sophie who is not only insisting on getting back of her on back of her mare but she's also insisting on going off on her own and just going back into riding on her own which Mama said no. Mama said no to that, but she's insisting. She wants to do it. Gabby, next time tell me when you're cantering. Yeah. Get yeah, and then she wants to canter. Right, Stella? You're a cantering girl, aren't you? Yeah. Is that what you're gonna do right now? Uh, no. Oh, okay, so yeah, she wants to shoot a, tear, a dares video for her channel. Yeah, so uh, comment below what your dares are, right? So we ended on a really positive note with Stella. She was a very good girl, right? Did you loosen her girth a little? So I asked Sophie. She said, am I done riding? And I said, well, we're gonna go out into the woods and take some pictures. So you can either take off her tack and walk her out there and take pictures, or you can get back on. And what was your answer? This was her answer. And when I was looking at her like she was crazy, she said, what, can't you read sign language? And I said, that is not any kind of sign language that I know. <gasps> what were you trying to say to me? Please, please move. Yes. <laughs> So as some of you guys, not very many, but a couple people don't understand why we made Sophie, after hitting her head, get back on the horse. And one, I checked to make sure she was okay. She wasn't showing any signs other than a headache. And um, it's not like I was gonna let her get back on and start cantering around or go off on her own. I needed her to just get back on her horse because if I didn't, that would be the end of Stella, you guys. Sophie needed to get back on to, if she was gonna still not be afraid of her horse. Like, letting her just walk away would have been taking her horse from her. And her horse and riding is the biggest thing in your life right now. He always poops in that same spot. Stella's like, ew. Not that. Sophie, is your horse your biggest thing in your heart right now? Yeah, and my dog. Your horse and your dog, yeah. Like, I did not want to take that away. And walking away from that fall would have been the same as taking her, taking it away for her. And look, just two days later, this girl, this brave girl, is back in love with her mare. Because I'm like sore now. You like her now? I'm less sore. Oh, you're less sore. She's feeling a lot better. I just want to reiterate that Stella is not a spooky horse. Has never been a spooky horse. A new place, and for whatever reason, she got spooked here two times, and the first time kind of pushed her into the second time. So we're gonna take a lot of different precautions to make sure it doesn't happen again. It's what, he does. what does he do? He wow, he's a genius horse. He goes around the mud. Yeah, he's a princess, you guys. If I have to run around the arena, holding on to Stella's mane, holding on to Stella's bridle every day for six months to give her back her horse, then that's what I'm gonna do. 
give her back her security and her comfort for both of them, then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm really glad Storm's not in this field now. Really glad. A bigger scale the world in Mail time. Okay, go ahead, open it, Sophie. So uh, this package is from Lily, and she's 14 years old. I love that 14-year-olds watch us. Um, she lives only an hour and a half from us. Um, uh, she has been to uh, our tax stores before, and she rides horses and has been riding for three years. She has two dogs, a cat, two fish, and a bunny. And she loves animals so much. And in the package, I have included three horses that I painted to look like Storm, Stella, and Sabrina. I hope you guys like them. Bye, you have Sabrina. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love her. Stormy. She even got the sock and the face working right. Yeah, amazing. Wow, that looks exactly like Stella. Holy even cow! Yes, you even. Oh, um, and, and it almost looks indented the way that Stella's does. Mm -hmm. That is cool. She's like, yeah. That's really nice, and I love Sabrina. That's so nice. Wait, she has pictures in the box. Cool. But look at look at Stella. Doesn't that look like Stella? Yeah. Does. Let me see Storm. She got all the leg markings right and everything. That is so cool. Oops. So cool. And these are her puppies. So adorable. It's even kind of fat like her. Yeah, it does kind of look fat like her. Thanks, Lily. Okay, you guys. Um, I just wanted, to, before I end today's video, I wanted to just update you on poor Lola. Oh, my heart is breaking for Fiona. Um, uh, Lola is in the hospital. She has um, impaction and her small intestine is bulging which is obviously the big huge problem and um, at this point they think that the bulge will go away once they relieve the impaction and it gets really complicated by the fact that she's pregnant you guys I like this is going to break the bank Fiona is essentially unemployed as she is terrified but her first priority was getting Lola and her baby to safety and to get them fixed even though I don't know how this is gonna work out she's gonna be in the hospital for days if she survives the next 24 hours is gonna tell the tale um, I just want to ask you guys please pray so much for Fiona and for Lola and her baby fool like I want to see that baby do you want to see her baby mm -hmm. yeah and what color it turns. Yeah, and what color it is. Like, what's its name? Pray, mm -hmm. guys. Just pray.